What's up everybody? My name is iCamera9. Thank you so much for clicking on today's GTA 5 videos. In today's video, we're going to be discussing if Grand Theft Auto 5 is actually better than Call of Duty because of the new first person vote. But guys, before we get straight into the video, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the red subscribe button to join the Saiyan Army. And don't forget to click the like button. And one more quick reminder, I'm doing another giveaway for $500,000 in, in GTA Online. If you would like to win it, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so now that we got that away, let's talk about this first person mode. In my opinion, it's probably one of the best things that ever happened to Grand Theft Auto in recent memory. You know, we originally started from looking for the God's perspective down below, and then we switched over to third person, and it was pretty epic, all of these transitions, but the biggest transition to me was the first person mode. I do have a little bugs and, like, uh, complaints about it, you know, like the reload, the circle, the sprint is a little funny, but overall, it really does work, and it brings up the question, is Grand Theft Auto 5 now better than Call of Duty? And what I mean about that is, Call of Duty used to be a lot of fun. You know, back in Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare, one modern warfare 2 and even call of duty world at war those games were fun it wasn't so much about the mlg hardcore players who love to destroy everybody and ha took the game super seriously it was just about having fun the casual good players and now if you're just a casual call of duty player you can't really have any fun in that game and the same goes for Grand Theft Auto 5. In my opinion, I'm playing with a lot of new subscribers because of the recent weeks and months. I've gained a bunch of subscribers and a bunch of you guys have added me on the PlayStation Network. I'm playing with people who only get to play once in a while and they are having a lot of fun with Grand Theft Auto. You know, these guys get to play out like maybe twice a week and they used to play Call of Duty and Advanced Warfare turned off so much they said that Grand Theft Auto is their new first person shooter. Now, if we wind the year about one year ago, could you imagine anybody ever saying that their new favorite first-person shooter is Grand Theft Auto? Nobody would say that because nobody thought that Grand Theft Auto could actually work being an FPS game. But the way you see these custom game types, like this is a custom game mode. It's very small, very compact. It's easy to move around and you know where everybody's going to be. They're basically on either one side or the other. Spawns are not complicated. It's a very simple game mode. There are some things to blow up. But also, there's remakes of Shipment. There's remakes of Nuketown. There's tons of maps that are played in Call of Duty over in Grand Theft Auto 5 because there's no limits to this game. But I do think that some of the FPS features need a little bit of tweaking. I do think the running animation is kind of wrong. And when you do sprint, the gun is taking too much of your screen. It's hard to see what's actually going on when your gun pops up and it takes up half of the screen. You know, some player could be hiding underneath in that corner and you just completely miss them and die. But other than that, I'm really enjoying the FPS mode. I know a lot of you guys do. I don't personally prefer to drive in FPS. But when it comes to shooting, it's just FPS all the way. That's what my main default is. I'll never go back to third person shooting. I just find the FPS more cinematic, more surreal, and much more epic. Like, look how much fun I'm having here with the shotgun. Me and my teammates are wrecking these guys as best as we possibly can, but unfortunately we do lose at the end here, you know. It's kind of like experts against, like, one expert and the rest are amateurs. It was really hard to play this game, but it was a lot of fun. That's the main point of it. Call of Duty is not fun for most people, and some people say because it's stale, you know. Call of Duty changes this game all the time, you know. Advanced Warfare is completely different from Modern Warfare 1, okay. Nobody can really tell me that Advanced Warfare is the same as Call of Duty what it was like two, three years ago. Grand Theft Auto, on the other hand, it's chaotic, it's simple, but it's fun, and that's what makes the game awesome. But guys, you've heard me enough ramble on today. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you like the FPS mode? Do you think it's the new Call of Duty? Of course, it probably outsold Advanced Warfare. We're just waiting for Rockstar to publicly announce their sales figures for the next generation consoles. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the red subscribe button to join the Saiyan Army, and don't forget to click the like button and as usual i'll be seeing you in the next video peace everyone